Okay, you know I introduced the rule that if we get a worse points total, <laughs> right, than previous season, that's the end of the save. There is a caveat, and it's not because we're doing badly this season. That's not the reason. I actually was, I was considering, well, you know, that'd be cool if we won the Europa League. It could happen, okay? But then I thought, well, no, that, that would be weird if we won the, like, so essentially the rule is if we win a cup competition that season, then we don't end the save if we earn less points. Because if we did win the Europa League, but had a point less, and then we just ended the save, that would suck, because that's a big deal. Winning cups is massively important for money and reputation and stuff, okay? It's not because we're doing bad and sitting 13th in the league. That's definitely not the reason. Greetings and salutations, my friends, and welcome back. Yeah, so it's it's not been going good, um, but to be fair, these two results were weird. We should have won at least one of these games. It was just one of those games that happens occasionally. Obviously, Real Madrid, Real Madrid. Then we played Benfica. They're really good. Look, look at the scorers, Jonathan David and Arno Sanchez. Like, they are just way better than us, right? And then, But we did pick up a decent draw against Porto. Gonzalez getting himself a goal. Then we lost against Roma. We were, I'd say slightly, we least deserved a draw from that. That's not too bad. And then thankfully, Costa dug us out of a hole. I've had a slight tweak of tactics and we got a 4-1 win because otherwise it was starting to look a bit ropey. Um, it is still bad, but we've had a, two of the most difficult, well, the two most difficult games of the season gone. So that's something. Today we're playing Vizsla, who we have to win. We need to put some sort of run before... Uh, together and then Real Betis after the Roma result we probably need to win that as well uh, Ribeiro's rubbish <laughs> he's he's not rubbish but he is rubbish um, he is not doing uh, as expected but goalkeeper's always a bit weird I, I want like I'm not obviously not giving up on him but like I can't like, we won 4-1 that game, and he still played badly. So, But we need results. If we were sort of floating along and we could sort of carry him a little bit, I, I would be fine with that. Um, the whole defence is actually... All the left-backs are playing really bad. Um, we've got a 6.66 average, 6.65 average, and a 6.58 average on my three left-backs. <laughs> um, we've treated the tactic basically... Bringing it back a little bit, rather than the CM and the DM, we're playing a sort of double pivot here, um, which which is kind of what we had before, and bringing him back to an attacking midfield. Just a bit of extra security. We are pushing on with Gouffe on the right-hand side again uh, to an attack position. Um, just. Uh, Batista had an actual first good game of the season, getting a couple of assists. Gonsalves is doing fine, um, which is good, because Martins is out, and he's out for like three or four weeks. Broken toe, four to six weeks. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, Neto was brilliant when he came on. Let's give him a game. We've also Hugo can play. Felix can play on the right hand side if needed. It's the defence that's the problem at the moment. Costa's doing what he can. Right, we have to win. Them. We really have to win this game. No, it's because it's not even about all matching points last season. Like we might get sacked because the board were extremely diff disappointed that we didn't make the Champions League proper. Which, fair enough, if that's their goal. But then if you have to play against Real Madrid, I feel like there's some sort of, OK, but we understand you did have to play against Real Madrid to qualify. So we'll let you off a little bit. But no, no, they were just... So I'm not in the best position right now. This is a little bit of a wobble. But hopefully the fixtures are going to get a little easier. Even the European ones, after Real Betis, who are obviously a good side, there's some easier fixtures. We don't need to panic just yet, but Costa just needs to keep banging in goals. Goof. Lovely ball. Batista! It's worrying. Let's have a look at the old... Uh, we win today, we jump up spots, and everything's almost forgiven. And we did have, and also like the other fixture that we actually did win was against Rear Ave, who were like third in the league. So thank God we won that one. 
Oh, good interception from Santos. Now he makes the run. Lovely ball to Neto. Threads it through to Costa. Go on. Yes, Costa! That's not offside, is it? Just time wasting. This is just essentially time wasting. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe it. It was onside. Right. Yes. If we just put together a couple of results, that's all we need to do. Lingu can come on. Um, the rest looks good. We're one nil up. This is this is a wobble. So I'm trying to play Ribeiro enough that he doesn't get upset that he's not playing enough because obviously new signing loads of money. But also not uh, too much that he just keeps conceding. <laughs> that he just keeps conceding a load of goals, essentially. I'm not giving up on him, but I'm starting to regret spending all that money on a goalkeeper. We have to take a punt, though, because there's so few. Go on, Costa. Come on, Costa. Go on. Oh, that's a great save. Go on. Go on. Oh, lucky. Lungu. Back out to him. Back out to him. Okay, middle. Goofs. Playing well. Can we get a second goal? We're on 10 points. It's not too bad. Okay, we're dominating. Don't think we need to change how we're playing. We're having plenty of chances. Bardo can come on for the tired legs. We're going to go Felix for Gonsalves. Oh my god, the left back's playing seven. Don't spook him, but he's playing a seven. Okay, Panacho's playing bad and only yellow, so Mendes can come in. Can he get a seven? Seven. Oh, I thought I got 7.1. 7.1. Just see it out, lads. See it out. He's still at 7.1. Come on, come on. Yes, we'll take it. It's a boring 1 0 away win against not a very good side, but that is just a win and that is all that matters. Right, we can ignore the league for a bit now. Oh, the stress is gone. Let's go, Sam Spring Europa League action. We kind of need to win after that first defeat. Before we go into the game stuff, let's have a quick look at how things are going. Finances, fine. We are overspending quite heavily on the wages. Um, the debt is not horrendous. We've got 37 million net debt. Uh, that's fine. What's that a month? 450k plus whatever that is. Okay, not too bad. Um, club vision. Like, some of these are so hard. Like, develop the best youth system in the country. Also with no money. We've got not, not getting any money, but, you know, look at the best in the, in the world, right? Uh, Champions League proper. Okay. We're in the group stage of the Europa League. Would we have failed that if we got into the Champions League? Okay. They're disappointed that we didn't get into the Europa Conference League. They do know we can't play in all three competitions, right? Okay. One of the fun things, so we're a C plus still. At least we're satisfied with that stuff. Um, one of the fun things about this whole, the, the cup rule allowing us to keep safe is that like if we have a really bad season, like let's say we struggle and we're battling and we're not going to, then we really need to go for the attack to Portugal, right? We really have to go all in on it. <laughs> right. Um... Real Betis, do I? I know Galido's got to play. He's playing on form as well. I can't. Benatra's been rubbish. I think we need another first choice centre back to play alongside Brandy long term. Does Mendes like me yet? Hmm. Uh, it still likes FC Porto. Okay, give me another few weeks. It feels a little bit like I'm grooming him. Let's just brush over that. Right, boys, get a win. It's just as important for morale as it is right now for the actual competition proper. Right, goofs. Does well, really well. Hit it for error. Hit it. A little stab shot. Bit of scrambles. 
We're going to have another pop, and it's a corner. Roma are winning again. Oh, lucky Brandy. Good header. Quest clock with a good save. They won their first game, Betis. Okay, we've got Dortmund in there. Oh, oh this, this could be good. Almeida. Almeida. Good one, two. Almeida. Oh, what a finish! Go on, the ball winning midfielder with a marauding one. Lovely little just knock it back from Costa. That's really good goal, that is. Almeida had just broken the appearances record because he's just overtaken Carvalho. What a finish as well. Pops up with the odd special goal. He's like, I feel like he's like Thomas Party. Thomas Party is one of those like DMs that's, he probably takes maybe a little bit too many long shots, but occasionally there's an absolute peach. And you go, oh, it's worth it. He's allowed a few. Let's go. We're off the mark, boys. Goose. Okay, Almeida getting involved again. Santos. And not a penalty. Good Salves. Lovely ball. Ferreira's got to do better there. Okay, we're playing really good football here. Don't concede. Do not concede on half time. Thank you. No conceding. Ferreira. Almeida. Nice. They're working well together, those two. Santos. Batista. Rides the tackle. Finds Ferreira. Almeida. Oh, he scored again. <laughs> Just loves Europe. Oh, I finished, son. Okay. This is a good game. This is more like us. Um. What? Okay. I know he's not on the bench. What about? Because I don't think any nobody does this. Does anybody any teams around the world that do this in football? Using your sub goalkeeper actually as like a normal sub. Like, oh, okay, like like if you're three nil up and you bring on the young goalkeeper. I might put him on the bench and just start like in a position now. We go, okay, give him some time. <laughs> Maybe that's the way to go. Right. Fitness is good. These two have played every game, so and they are playing well, but that's feel confident we're going to still be the better team. Right, lads. Come on, lads. Okay, left-back's playing a 6.9. Batista. Lungu. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Goalkeeper didn't even move. They clear the danger. Lovely volleyed pass from Valido. <laughs> okay. You're not that good, mate. But I, I respect it. Right, Fogardo into Lungu. They're finding so much space in whatever tactic they're using. I'm not going to look at their tactic. That would be like using brains and stuff. Whatever it is, the amount of space these two are getting is criminal. Right, I'm going to give Nedim a bit of time, I think. We can, I think we can risk that. Felix can come on and sec. Come on, Nedim. The great hope. I still, I'm keeping to try. I'm keeping to try. Wow. I'm still trying to give Brandy a new contract, but every contract I offer him, he is just locking in. That's a good finish, Felix. Every contract he's locking in 33 million pound release clause, which will be snapped up, and he's not changing it at all. So, I'm. Guess he's got like a year and a half left on his deal, plus a, like a one year extension. So I just guess I just keep him on that contract forever. <laughs> I think I'll have to cash in at some point. I can't afford to lose him for free in the end of two and a half years. Oh, there. there. Go on, Ned him. Go on. Go on, the blonde bombshell. No, Ned him. He's only a little fella. Couldn't see the goal. Could have scored there, buddy. Terrible clearance, but they get away with it. Okay, good win, boys. Good performance. No injuries. Rested a couple of players for a half. Costa had a half off. 
Ned and Mr. Sitter. But all is good. Well done, boys. Okay, let's have a look at the fixtures because I need another five fixtures without anybody scary. Okay, good, good. Watford will be tough. Um, Abes 1930. Never, not, okay, should be all right. Okay, not too bad. Should be all right. I think we should be all right. Let's have a quick look at our affiliate club. Which is basically our B team at this point. They are sitting 15th in the league. Okay, got three starts, nine starts, six starts, five starts, four starts, and a sub period. Okay. <laughs> God, imagine trying to do teams. For, oh, that just hurt. That just hurts me. I know they've got their own 21s in there, but that, that just that just hurts. That just absolutely hurts my brain. If I have to scroll down, I get confused. Right, there we go. Better. It's better. We're not sacked just yet. We've got three wins in a row. So a couple of good performances. A couple of easy league games that should be easy. I'll play a bunch now, I think. Um, we'll deal with this at the end. I think we need to get on with the season. Um, unless I'm about to be sacked, in which case I'll probably come back a little bit sooner, Almeida. Brilliant stuff, sir. He's not known. He pops up the couple of season. So that's him done for the season there with the two goals. Maybe he needs a couple of league ones. Right, there we go. Let me know what your thoughts about the goalkeeper. Does anybody actually out there use their goalkeeper? Like, as a sub in, he's having a bad game. I'm going to sub in. Maybe it's time that I just break the rules of football and just do this. I'm going to. I'm going to. But let me know if anybody else does it. Right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, bit of relief now. Feel better.